Good morning, laws of Passover, laws of the Seder. We're on in the Mishnah Bura, Tough Iron Bays, Bays, which is 472 2. Yesader Shulchano Yafa One should set his table with nice silverware, nice vessels, according to his ability. And he should prepare the place where he sits so he could lean the way that free people lean. There's a mitzvah when we eat many of the foods on Pesach, on the Seder, like matzah and the four cups of wine. We lean, we lean our, on our left side. So one should set up a place where he's able to lean. And the reason we lean is because free people lean. Right back in the day, they used to lean on these um, mats or these uh, pillows or big couches, like you see the Romans, you know, they're leaning on their left side, eating the grapes. A free person does that, so we have to prepare a place to be able to do that for the Seder. And even a poor person that doesn't have any pillows, he can't afford pillows, he should sit on a bench or a couch. Okay. Mishnah Bura. Bekelem Naim. A person should have nice silverware. Pesach mitzvah laharbos. Shezehu bechal derech He writes that during the year, even though a person shouldn't be ostentatious and have, you know, put out the most fancy silverware and very expensive things, the reason is, is because it wants, we have to have it as a zecher lechorban. We have to remember that we are in exile. The temple in Jerusalem was destroyed. So there's always a remembrance of that, a semi-quasi mourning for the temple. But on Passover, that restriction doesn't apply. And we should, on the contrary, take out our most beautiful silverware to show that we're free people. The Amr al-Maril, the Maril said, When he had collateral, he gave a loan and he had collateral from Nachrim. Very, he had beautiful um, vessels as collateral. He never used these vessels, these beautiful vessels that he had as collateral, the Maril, during the whole year. But on Pesach, he would set up a table where he would show all of these beautiful, uh, beautiful vessels. And then it's, uh, we said in the Mishnah Brewer that we need to have a set up a place where we can lean. To show that we are free. Rotzalomar, Roshamuta, your head should be to the side. Litzad small, really means your whole body. To the left, Alamita, O Allah Safsal, Vikaram Tachas Rosho, and you should have the pillows under your head. That's Allah Shulchan, near the table. Now, we're going to learn in the next halacha, God willing, tomorrow, and the next time that we learn, uh, why we only lean on our left side. We don't lean on our right side, and the back, and the front, but leaning is only done on the left side. Someone actually made a joke that Pesach is the only time of the year that Ben Shapiro leans left. Okay. Yasev al Safsal. We said that a poor person, if he can't afford pillows, he should lie on a bench or on a couch. Kain Sarch Limer, this is what it means. Well, it's not small on his left side. Vim ain lo Safsal, if he doesn't have a bench. Vu Yeshev al Karka, o Kamoba Artsos Hamizrach. In the eastern countries, let's say he doesn't have a bench, what they do in the eastern countries is they lie on the ground. They lean over on the ground. So he says a poor person that doesn't have anything can do that. Baruch Shem, I think uh, everyone in Alepin, we have a table and chairs. We are compared to what people used to live with. We are, even the poorest among us now, are quite affluent compared to what used to be a standard of living back in the day. So even if someone's leaning on the ground, he should do it on his left side. Furthermore, the rabbis write, It says, really, if you have no other choice, you can even lean on your friend's knees. That's also called leaning. On his lap. of a low But a person shouldn't lean on his own lap. The mixi kadoi, because if you lean on your own lap, it looks like you're worried about something and something's bothering you. The whole idea is the leaning and all the other things in the Seder is that we want to show cheirus. We want to show that we're free people. So we learn two things that we do to show that we are free people. One is that we have the nice, our nicest silverware we put out to show that we're free, even though during the rest of the year we shouldn't be uh, using the most fancy stuff because we want to be uh, have a remembrance of the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem. Also, we learned that we lean we lean during the Seder, and then next time we learn, we'll learn the details about leaning and when it has to be done and how it has to be done and uh, all of those things. Okay, wishing everyone a beautiful day.